Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to episode number four of uh, Buried Thoughts. This is episode number four. That means it's been four weeks. That means it has been four weeks. Episode number wow. three, I decided to take it or Episode number two, I decided to take it down due to I didn't want us drinking on. Yeah. It wasn't the best look. And today, this is Buried Thoughts. This is the podcast where the entire portion of <laughs> Josh's... Just to, just to clarify that we weren't drinking on episode two, if, in case my mom's watching. Yeah, no, we weren't drinking. <laughs> of course not. But uh, this entire portion of the podcast, Josh will be talking in Italian. Um, we got we got a, an Italian guy to talk. Yeah, so, so how, 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 how are you and uh, the girl that you're talking to right now? Oh, no. We are in love. We are like two peas inside of a rigatoni spaghetti. That means a lot, that doesn't it? That was a good Italian. All right, roll the intro music. As we are back, we have returned from the intro music again, once again. Hope you guys enjoyed that new intro. I mean, it's, it's pretty it's sick. Gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It was made by your very own Elliot Quinn. In case Quinn. you're just listening to this with earphones, look at the screen. Amazing You'll balls. probably get like a, a, a little yeah, case of ele- what's it called like, a epilepsy uh, epilepsy uh, epilepsy yeah, yeah you might get like a minor case of epilepsy from that intro it's <laughs> okay but it was made by your own Elliot Quinn and I like to um, hurt people's eyes and, and, um, and not then. just by my ugly looks but also through the intros <laughs> that I make <laughs> so I'm sorry if that hurted in your eyes yes hurt it I, I did say hurted that hurt yeah. it now can, can we talk about a very serious topic okay fine um what are you gonna say? <laughs> I was gonna say something really bad that we can't send it. Uh, yeah, fine, just gonna... <laughs> okay, so I guess we're not gonna. T- um, so we're coming out. So the fucking gypsies. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I know, but I want to talk about Logan Paul and KSI. Ah. Uh, because their their fights coming up. Their press conference just happened. I feel like it's like you got a mom. There's like two little girls fighting over like the last pair of shoes. No, there's that's one girl. Like. There's like, one girl fighting over like, the last pair of shoes, and that's the fucking Logan Paul piece of shit. Ooh, ooh. And I just, I, I'm sorry. I, I, we're keeping this this I podcast know you guys, PG, I know this but is like, we're, we're, you're listening to audio right now. But like, there's some mad beef in this room right now. You sure? Yeah. But, but no, I, I hate <laughs> I hate the Paul brothers, dude. Jake Paul, Logan Paul. Paul. I hate. Yeah, yeah. Shake your glass right next to the mic. Great. <laughs> okay. Jeez. No. I love but, Aaron Paul though. He's a bib. Aaron Paul, the guy from Breaking yeah, Bad. Breaking yeah, he's Bad. dope. He's dope. But I need um, for speed. I need for speed. Yeah, that was a great movie. But uh, Jake Paul and Logan Paul. Talk about how hot that girl was, brother. The blonde one. Yeah. Did not find her hot at all. Okay. Was not. We're not attracted to the same women. No, I see. I'm attracted to. Like transvestites. Sure, you've, I think you've said transvestite in every single podcast so far. I'm yeah. not even joking. Yeah, it's just no, sad. but seriously though, like, I hate the Paul brothers, dude. Like, I'm gonna straight out say it. I don't like them. Their 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 ego is like because I think we have a high ego and our ego is nowhere. Like no, our, our our ego is pretty high. We have a huge we have huge like, egos, but our egos are a percentage compared to their egos. These the guys thing are is, nuts. Like, we have a right to have a huge ego because we're fucking sexy. We are. Well, you, half of us is sexy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the the tall brown haired like one is kind of ugly. Waist. Below the waist, yeah. we're both pretty sexy. Yeah, below the waist, some... not that I know, not not <laughs> not that not that I've I've seen okay, anything of yours one below time the waist. You were changing. Oh, yeah, you what? I was what? changing, and then you saw my my toes. I, I saw the Pinocchio, and it was the definitely, Pinocchio. Yeah, it was lying, ladies. If you know what I mean. <laughs> Acts of a girl or not a show. <laughs> no, but uh, no, but yeah. Seriously though, uh, fuck Jake Paul and Logan Paul. Yeah. I used to like Logan Paul back in the day when he first started off. Like I was like, okay, this guy uh, makes. I, saw, I only saw like a 15 second clip, and I saw KSI wearing a wig. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he was wearing. He was trying to imitate Logan Paul, but Logan Paul didn't look like. You're doing that right next to the mic. Anyways, Logan Paul didn't let him finish. Is that like for like special sound effects? You hear the bubbles? I doubt they can hear that. They could probably hear that. That's Anyways, yeah, Logan Paul didn't let him finish. He was making a joke about like how his um, because you know how Logan Paul like filmed that dead guy in the in the forest. Yeah. And then he, he made like an apology video. Yeah. <laughs> KSI put on a wig and he started like mimicking him. Really? It's like I'm so sorry for what I've done. It was a complete lack of judgment. <laughs> yeah. And then Logan Paul. That he ripped off the yeah. Wig? Then he ripped off the wig and then he he was he tried to rip off his bandana, but KSI got pissed. Well, yeah. I do. I hate Logan. I want KSI to. I, I, okay. Because KSI's brother and Logan Paul's brother are fighting as well. Comedy Shorts Gamer, like Deji, that's his name, I'll call him Deji. Deji and Jake Paul are fighting. Now, to be honest, I'm, I love Deji. I hate Jake Paul for passion. But I think, I think Jake Paul might. I don't think he's going to beat him, but I think he's going to take it. 
he's gonna win it, I think. But I I don't want him to. But I think like yeah. realistically, I think Jake Paul's gonna win it. But who's gonna win between uh, KSI? And I I want to say KSI because Logan Paul's bigger, but like KSI's and like been boxing for over a year. Was... Yeah, he fought Joe Weller. I know, but no, but Logan, Logan Paul, Paul did. Was a fighter before, no? He was uh, a wrestler. Oh, that's not even a sport. <laughs> just, just, a just, just an excuse to roll around with guys. No, I'm no. saying I play golf. Dude, I love golf. Don't insult golf. Actually, I love golf. <laughs> no, too. but I say, uh, no, yeah. So he did wrestling. So I guess he has like a little bit of, and he, but he's also athletic as shit. Like Logan Paul is all, was always, he was always in shape. Yeah, but KSI is, he got in shape. KSI he, got he in bled. shape. Sure. So like, he's put <laughs> a lot of street fights. <laughs> yeah, just, just takes off all his clothes before the fight. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, I think I think KSI. I want KSI to take it so bad. It's gonna be a good fight though. It's definitely gonna be a good fight. They're predicting yeah. that there's gonna be twice the amount of viewers. Uh, in, the for this fight than the Floyd. McGregor versus Mayweather fight which is insane because the Mayweather versus McGregor fight I think there was like 6.4 million concurrent viewers like off pay-per-view that's pretty crazy and think, of, think about that 6.4 million and pay-per-view was $100 to watch it Jesus Christ <laughs> how much is that? that's 640 that's a lot of money that's no, 640 I, million dollars make like 500 no he made, he made three he made 370 million or something like that and and connor made like 90 Jesus. something connor lost That's and he still he still of, almost yeah. made 100 million but with endorsements and shit like that i think no, they he, he made a they, they, they made a they made a crap ton of money yeah it's insane and like mayweather, and crap, no no hold sure. up mayweather didn't make 370 he made like 200 something because yeah he made 270 yeah he made 272 million dollars this year Alone, he was the highest paid athlete yeah. this year by double of Is the. Is that with sponsors and ads and? I think that's with the, yeah, that's with endorsements because, uh, what's his face? Ronaldo was like fifth place on the highest paid athlete, and, and he he, not get he was like se- he, he was at a seventy-seven million dollars or something, and he only gets paid. Well, he only gets paid. He gets paid like only. like twenty-nine million euros a year. So what is oh, that so like? Pennies. What is that like forty-three million Canadian or something like that? Something, around there, yeah. around there. But uh, no, that's still insane though. That's crazy. That's that's way too much money. Bro. No, but like for I, one fight, like come on. Oh, oh okay, yeah. If I yeah, were yeah. talking about um, Ronaldo, not too well. He has a high. That's a salary. No, he's, he gets he's paid forty three million dollars minimum yeah. Canadian a year. Well, in America, it's like forty five. It's euros. It's like twenty nine million euros, but it's just a year. That's not mm-hmm. including endorsements. That's just a salary. Oh, no. That's his base salary plus endorsements. Wait, is that he makes too way much? more. Uh, I wouldn't say it's too much. The Mayweather much. thing that was way too much. No, but like, it's business. It's it's their cut. They get a percent. It's like um, it's like the uh, some actors they get a percentage of the box office revenue. Actors they're, they're, make a, way too much money too. You think so? Yeah. I think they. I mean, they get paid what they're worth. Some are really bad. Okay, okay no, still but, make a lot of money. Like who? Who, you, who, like, who do you have in mind? Nicholas Cage. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, my my, my dad looks like Nicholas Cage, so I'm a fan of Nicholas so Cage. So your mom's dating him. Exactly. So you know, you know, actually, he lost seventy five. Pretty smart with his money. <laughs> My dad? Yeah, he's not pretty smart. He just doesn't spend it <laughs> at exactly. all. <laughs> Drives a Honda. He he kept his fucking two thousand one. Most of it while gambling. Like yeah, Nicholas, Nicholas Cage, Cage lost seventy five million dollars while gambling. Was it in one night? I don't. I don't know if it That's was like total. I don't think I it was hope one it was night. Like one night. I hope he's not that much of a dumbass. Seventy five. He plays blackjack with seventy five mil. But if he wins, he he walks yeah, away with um, yeah, I can't do math. One hundred fifty like, is that what it is? Like, seventy five plus know, what's, wait, what's seventy? My... What's one seventy five plus what? Plus seventy five. It's one fifty, right? Seventy five plus what? Seventy five. It's one fifty. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. I thought I was an idiot. Yeah, yeah. he, he could have walked away with one hundred fifty million dollars if he would have if he put that in blackjack. But I don't think they accept that big of fucking bets. No, probably not. Maybe not in Montreal, but maybe in, in LA Vegas, or something. Yeah. In Vegas, yeah, maybe, maybe they, they have like, like a like very a... high table, yeah. like very high bets. Because I think in Montreal, the minimum bet it's for, for sure high for is, sure is like 5000 or some shit, which isn't that high. For high bids, it's like 5000 uh, Well, there's, it's a whole different section of the casino. Yeah, but I think it's like minimum 5000 which, like which is nothing. Well, I mean, it's, it's something, but it's nothing yeah. to like multi-millionaires. Oh, fuck, yeah. It's nothing well, to it's me. Like today, I wanted to go blow five grand. Just like, <laughs> five grand? You mean five hundred? Uh, uh, no. Five hundred? I want to go blow thousand. Oh, you want to go to the casino for a thousand bucks? Yeah. I mean, just like on one, one, one table. No, no, because then it's not fun if you just go in there with a thousand bucks and you put it all in blackjack. You should like take like two hundred fifty bucks and you do it in blackjack. Then the other five hundred you go to uh, no, Texas I, Hold'em, and then the other fucking no. then another two fifty and that thing. Like you know, I feel like blackjack is like my 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 A one. I got so lucky last time. I won like six. Yeah, and then six no. Straight. Yeah, you did. One. And then you lost no, one, like and then you were bucks. like, "Yeah, no, I'm not." <laughs> but yeah. you still made like what five dollar profit off off of that? Yeah, yeah I, I could have made, like, made like sixty five. 
Yeah, but then you, I even told you, I was like, yo, check. I was like, okay, cash out. Like, you, you, I know you're going to lose if you continue playing. And you're like, no, I got this. Oh. <laughs> I was like, okay. Then you still ended up losing. You still were profitable. I should have, I I like, cashed out. My, yeah, That's yeah. what I told you, yeah. and you didn't listen it's to me. That's, house that's why you got to listen to Elliot Quinn. Yeah. That, yeah, but anyways, coming back to the... Wait, we always... This is the problem with us in these podcasts. We always... Um, go off track. Come... Not even go off track. Like we weren't like talking about. We just jump like, tracks. No, yeah, it's because we we tell stories and then it makes us think stories, of other things. It makes us yeah. We were really not like one of the main topic of this podcast was supposed to be the Logan Paul versus KSI. We talked about that for two minutes. True, but there's not that. Much there's not that say. much to say. Listen, KSI, you better win. Logan Paul, stop. We'll being you. We'll sponsor KSI. We'll be generous. You know? Yes, House of Bros. will we'll sponsor KSI. Give, give him some free high fives. Yeah, some free, some free, um, some free, what's it called? We can't afford anything. We some can't afford merch. anything. Some free merch, yeah. <laughs> some House of Bros. merch. Yeah. But uh, no, it's coming soon. I I hope. Yeah, but it's not called House of Bros. Though. Yeah, no. It, it's yeah. we'll, we'll it's not we'll, we won't it. say it because we know the name of the company for yeah, the, our clothing yeah. line, but we're not yeah. gonna say it out loud because actually it's on my Instagram. I can we can just say it. Yeah, but like it's not official. It's not trademarked. Yeah, so we're not gonna say it. But um, it's called jellyfishes. Jellyfishes. That'd be cool. <laughs> For a like clothing a line. Jelly, jelly five. Jelly five. <laughs> jellyfish. <laughs> jelly fives. Just uh, that'd actually be sick. That'd be sick. Nah, but um, yeah. Screw Logan Paul. Screw the Pauls. Let's just hate on the Paul brothers. Let's just uh, not even the Paul brothers. The entire fucking family. His father too. Biggest asshole really? I've ever seen, dude. If my father was their father, I I disown myself like from from him. Really? He's such an asshole. You get emancipated. Um, yeah, as I always call it emancipated. Yeah. I, yeah. But no, I that. So. Yeah, I I do that thing whenever that is because, dude, I hate his father. Like their father is such a like he's an embarrassment for a dad. Like I actually like if my dad was like that, like I'd be I, no, I can't do like I have to get I have to change my name. Is it like Bruce? <laughs> It's not like Bruce <laughs> so mean to he, say. he was a very good father, okay? But do they call him dad or mom now? I'm so confused. Or him or it. I, I don't know. Or it. <laughs> they call no, him it's because... No, can I just say it's hot as hell in this room? It is. I'm swallowing bullets. That's because you can't go in my room because I'm like... We're, we're, in, in. we're in some like... No, it's my veranda. What is, but like, What's the real word for this room? Like, what's, veranda. I don't think it's a veranda. It it's, is a veranda. It's a sunroom. No, it's not it's, well, it's it's I don't I've never it's heard like that last word. Veranda. I doubt anybody that's listening knows what a veranda is. Everybody knows. I what never a heard is. that word before. Yeah. Is it just me being uneducated? Yeah. It might just be me just being you uneducated. Swine. I'm so sorry, but it's 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 a room. It's cool though. There's a dartboard. There's isn't it? Isn't it called a sunroom? No. I thought it was like a sunroom or no, something. Isn't like. are those the ones like they're all, oh that's a green room where they're. It's all, a green. Like, yeah, it's a green room. But anyways, it's a room with a bunch of that's like sticking out of the house. Yeah, yeah it's, a bunch of, it's a bunch of glass surrounding it. Veranda. Are you sure that's what it's yeah. called? Because I don't want to sound like idiots. No. But it's not called a veranda. No, I'll show you after. Like, I'll, I'll show you it's called a, a solarium. That's what it's called. Is that it is not a solarium? It's for plants some shit. No, it's not. The, the, on the veranda. cruise, there was like the solarium. Yeah, and that was where there was like a bunch of birds. Oh, it is a, ver- a yeah. veranda. Okay, a veranda. Yeah, okay, okay. Yes, okay. Yeah, exactly. So, so it is a veranda. I yeah, never like heard this. that word. Now I'm learning. Yeah, this, this is a nice that's a ass. Sick. Wow. Yeah, so we're in a veranda right now. And is it a veranda or a covered terrace? Is a covered terrace ter- or terrace? It's terrace. I always say terrace. I don't say terrace. Yo, you want to go have a? a Are you, you kidding go me? On the... the other day, I had your family like while I was eating dinner. I, t- I was talking about a terrace. I, I said you terrace. Cor- your whole family corrected me. It was like it's terrace. I was like, that's why I said I always say terrace, not terrace. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now you got me confused. What do I say? You say terrace. Do I say terrace? Yeah. But or you terrace. just said terrace. Terrace. Sounds way better. I say terrace? It's, I'm so, so confused. Terrace, now, see, you, you confuse me. I don't know which one I say. Both are right. That's like Z and Z. But Both are right. We were having dinner with your family. And, and I argued about it? Yeah. And then your mom looked at me like I was a yeah, but you have to, you have child to... who was like... <laughs> Yeah. Not fed soup. You you have to years. you have to understand that like I enjoy arguing for no reason just because I find it so fun when the other it person when the other person gets mad and you're just like it's yeah. so funny and a lot of people do it to me too because they know that I, especially you because you know I get mad like easily and I get very defensive. Oh, so funny. I get super defensive. So it, it's yeah. So if you guys ever want to to entertain yourselves, just argue with me <laughs> about something that you know you're wrong about but like still oh argue about God, it. i get so mad oh no we know because we have similar views me and when me and my Sometimes, mom argue but when it, when me like, and my I'm mom are politics i'm like talking about like how we see political like, Al- not, like allegiance <laughs> stuff like that what are you talking about know, so, sometimes we argue and I, like i feel like there's like oh what show me hold up show me 
Oh hey. God! Why? See, does that mean does, does she does wants you? Does the tongue emoji mean DTF? I think so. Down I to mean, fry fries. <laughs> sure. <laughs> um, that'd be DTFF. Just say yeah. down to fry uh, fries. Down, down to f- down, down to, to fry. Uh, down, down to fuck. It's just, <laughs> no, just, no, that's not the word. Let's be, let's be honest. Is that what DTF here. means? Yeah, down to fuck. Oh. What do you think it means? <laughs> I, I use it with my mom all the time. I'm like, yo, mom, you want to go to you want a DTF? Are you a DTF dog? Like like she, down to fry? No, I, I thought I meant like down to Florida. Down to Florida. Where'd you guys go this summer? Ah, DTF, you know, down to Florida. That's actually. That's actually. Yeah. Let's just start. Oh, talking about trips. Ooh, okay, okay. Uh, we took we took mushrooms video. for the first time, and we had the biggest trip in the world. I want to. Ch- <laughs> <I'm> totally <laughs> joking. But we didn't take shrooms. We took um acid. Nah, God, nah. we gotta stop making those. No, we didn't take anything. Oh my God, it's like you know that time you took my phone and then um, like filmed my tricep at the gym and it looked fucking freaking like it was popping like. Yeah, and I wrote I wrote um yeah, like positive about, sides of steroids. Yeah, ten people slid in my DMs. They were like, "Dude, you you take steroids?" Really? Yeah, I was like, I thought, oh, I thought it was, thank you." I thought it was obviously like a joke. Yeah, but I guess did I look that shredded? <laughs> you, not to the point to to accuse you of using steroids. Why did my phone just unplug? Shit. Yeah, but it's like, it, I didn't know it was at the point where like, or maybe the guy's just... No, no, because it doesn't look like you're on steroids. It's but just like, that, like, if somebody said, like, if we said, would you believe it if I'm like, oh, I take steroids? You'd be like, really? Or you'd be like, oh, that makes I sense. I wouldn't believe it because you don't have those crazy veins. That is true. That's Hold up. Entertain them. I'm going to go replug my phone. You're going to go replug your phone where? Right here. Cause yeah, but the, the way I usually entertain people is like, I just take off my clothes. Then do that. Really? Okay, my phone's not charging. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get pissed. I think my charger Dude, like, just, broke. You don't need phones. It's too. Yeah, but my phone's at thirteen percent. I want to charge it for tonight so I can watch my um, adult films. <laughs> totally <laughs> joking. Totally joking. I'll use. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, I'll so use your phone for that. Get back on track to what we're talking Back about. to trips. For it's too. Saturday I am vlog. so sorry. It's we're so hot in beach. here that I can't focus. Right. We're gonna go to the beach for for Saturday's this Saturday's vlog. vlog. Yeah, we're gonna upload it. We're gonna film it Tuesday and Wednesday. Actually, by the time this is uploaded, we're probably at the beach. Yeah. Oh crap. Yeah. Shirtless and it. making out with girls. I should not say that. Yeah, probably. A lot of people. <laughs> will, yeah. So no, it was a joke. So yeah, if you guys want to go to the la, la playa, la playa, us. hit us up. Yeah, hit, hit us, us up. up. We'll go. Just to let you know, there's a TV in this room that's probably from the 1920s. No, it's my brother used it to play uh, Smash Bros. Is that what it's called? Warriors. Super Smash Bros. Super Smash Bros. Yeah. But it's like from the the fucking 1900s. Hey, we're gonna be Smash Bros. on Wednesdays, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Does that mean we're gonna? That scared us so My bad. God, God. Does that mean we're gonna do some drugs? I didn't even see you guys. Like, I thought you guys were in your, in your room. Scared? I thought the freaking like the power went out. I didn't even see you guys. It's by reflex. I just turned off. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> That scared the shit out of me. <laughs> my God, that made me believe in ghosts for a second. His brother just closed the lights and it literally scared the shit out of me. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck was that? Because this room is creepy. I thought Kim Jong-un was invading again. If there would be any, um, again, <laughs> if there would be any ghosts in this house, it'd be in this room. This room's creepy. That is true. Because like, it, it's it's all dark. We're at, it's late at night. There's. Do you believe in ghosts? There's no hot girls. Ghosts like follow hot girls. Did Ghost you know? follow Did you hot know? girls. Did you know? I want to hear this. What? <laughs> He's going to say the dumbest shit in the All world. Right. Okay, no, this is like shit up facts. All right, go for it. I'm we should put, wow, we should have said that during the intro. Okay. <laughs> Whenever you yawn, a ghost just comes up and shoves his corn dog in your mouth. Is that a male ghost? Yeah, well, he's a dick. Oh, yeah, he does have a cock. I, yeah. yeah. I, uh, do they? Shit up facts. When you so yawn, every time you yawn, just picture... You're a sucking dick, a guy's dick. No, a ghost cock. Yeah, exactly. But yeah. he's still a guy. Or, or can girls that are dead just grow cocks? I mean, they're dead. They could probably yeah. do whatever they I like want. I like how my mom said that she was maybe gonna watch one of our new videos, our podcast, or our videos. Yeah, now we're talking about ghosts. I love it. I like the she fir- loves this joke though. The first podcast was like not that R rated. This the, the second one was like super serious. The third one was like super clean, and then this one oh, I don't know what happened. Third one amazing. I don't know what happened to this podcast. We just we still got forty. We went from fifty minutes. We went from clean to like. We're swearing. We're talking about dicks and mouths. Um, we're talking about ghosts. No, but this is science. It is science because this was scientifically yeah. proven that ghosts, uh, when you yawn, put their their um, re- reproductive dogs. reproductive organs right in your mouth. 
That's why. That's why your ears. I said that to my mom the other day. Every time she, actually, the first time I I thought about this joke, I was at a hockey tournament. I was ten years old. You said that when you were (laughs) ten. Yeah, and I said it at a dinner with, my mom was sleeping. Yeah, she was. uh, Yeah, yeah. Sleeping with me. Wow. I was gonna say she was ten. I was. Ten. You were ten. I was ten. Um, yeah, I was at a hockey tournament, and uh, my mom had just been to, gone to bed, and I did a stand-up show. You did stand-up. I, I said that joke. How many How many stand-up shows have you done? I've done three. Three. Yeah. That you can remember of? Nope. I didn't want to. No, I don't remember any. Last stand-up show I did. No, okay. The second, the before last stand-up show I did was at Christmas, and I was so hammered. Like, I was drunk out of my... Don't play with the microphone. Like, what are you doing? There's I, a smug ball. There's a smug there's, ball. Your, your mic has smegma. <laughs> Smeg. No, dude, I was so drunk. It was so bad. Like, But I was hilarious. Though. People, I don't know if people were laughing because they were drunk, too. We should totally do a stand-up thing. I think our stand-up show would be... Like, who would be more dominant, though, in the show? I feel like it'd be... I think I'd be more dominant, though. Wow, you asshole. <laughs> I no, I don't oh, know. Like, cause I, have, I, I I'm very narcissistic. I I love having the attention on me. So when you if you'd be like making a joke, like I jump right in. in. Yeah, in. I'd cut you up and I would jump right in. That's you, why you said the punchline. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like literally, because I'm so like narcissistic that I yeah. I need like I'd be I'd get je- like, if we're doing a show together. P- picture this: if we're doing a show together and you say a joke and you get laughs, I'd get jealous. Really? Yeah. I'd be like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the laughing at me? That's why we have to make jokes together though. Like like that our um we have one bit, the the natives discovering fire for the first time bit. Oh yeah. That was that, hilarious. That, it's that, a little offensive. Yeah, it's a bit it's offensive. a little offensive because we reenacted so well that people <laughs> think that we're so good. I'm <laughs> partially weird. native, so I can do it's it. Not, yeah, I'm just Irish and French, so but like, <laughs> it's not native like, if it depends how far back you look, like probably also African somewhere down the line. Yeah, true. I think everyone's a So can I say the N word? Because no, can we talk, is is white privilege a thing if we can't say the n word? Yeah, don't say that. <laughs> I'm totally joking. My totally God. joking. No, but um, uh, do you believe in ghosts though? Seriously. Dans des fantômes, tu crois-tu aux fantômes? I've had. Sorry, I, 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 I had to have like a French part in there for. Uh, for, uh, for, for something, for, yes. For, the, for someone. For your, your biggest crush in the last like three years. What? <laughs> for the last three years. <laughs> No, uh, like, like, yeah. T- what? Did you tell me you love this girl? Oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> shut the fuck up. Okay, fine. Fine, we'll, we'll talk about this off podcast. Shut up. No, I never <laughs> said you said that. You're such an asshole. Well, you've been talking about, you stuff about it. Why would you say that? Like, I, I have not. I'm going to ask you Wow. <laughs> wow, you're such a dick. You're such a dick. I, how's your girl, by the way? Huh? Let me just say her name out loud. Which one? Which one? <laughs> 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 such an asshole <laughs> how's your girls how are they doing which one's your favorite whose ass do you like more the blonde one or the brunette one or the fucking Chinese one I'm guessing there's, there's a Chinese sh- one in there <laughs> he's thinking th- no there is <laughs> is she Japanese <laughs> that was a bit racist I, I, oh, uh, I apologize for that joke how is that racist cause I just said they look the same <laughs> I'm sorry je m'excuse yeah, no, they, make, they make fun of white the girl, people. Yeah, they do. Just apparently, when I go to an all Asian school. They make fun of us. You do go to an all Asian school. Can't understand what they're saying. Because the they thing is, though, the girl, sure. the girl told me that I need to speak a little bit of French in this podcast. So, je viens juste de finir mon français. Hey, tu vas finir quelque chose de plus tard. Hey. Oh, you're dirty. You're dirty. But yeah, you're totally right, though. <laughs> oh my God. I can't. She listens to these. No, she does. She to really these. does. She listens to uh, them all the way. Really, all the way through. Really, the entire like, hour. Number one fan. I think. I think. Um, your your girl's a little bigger fan. But actually, no. The, the my girl. The Emily. Well, not your girl, but the girl always comments. Oh yeah, the, the, yeah, Emily the one chick. from my my school. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that, that, like that I that I just saw. We're we're entertaining. Yeah, <laughs> so. that that I just saw. Like I, I was with you. She said count your calories or some shit like that. And she was at her locker, and then I just walked oh, by. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, my name's Elliot. By the way, you're really really cute. <laughs> my God. You do know that the other girl that you're talking to listens to our podcast. It's dude. It's totally fine if I say like another girl's good looking. What's wrong with that? That is true. It's like so girls saying like, oh, I find that guy good looking. By but the way, like that's um, fine. I don't like. So I don't is it okay to ask it. them for a threesome on the air right now? Ah, uh, that's that's not okay. Like, no, that's, just, okay. that's that's just the not rude. on the air. That's like a false. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> in person, yeah. But so see, the no thing proof. is, is that like we're joking, but I have a feeling that no one thinks we're joking. Yeah, it's true. And most, now they most, just think that we're like, 
we're correcting ourselves by saying we're joking. <laughs> God, see, we have to stop because when we're being sarcastic, we sound so sincere. Literally. It's not even sarcasm anymore. It's just like, like I, lying. That's <laughs> what it is. At work, I say steroid drinks, and now my my dude. I was so sarcastic I was, once. I, I said I was pregnant, <laughs> and someone believed me. I swear to God. Who are you talking to? Then? Someone, someone at my old job. I was, I was like, yeah, I'm pregnant. By the way. We were a bit intoxicated. She believed me like crazy. She was like, oh my God, are you like a transgender or something? Oh, okay. I, was, I, was, I was like, yeah, yeah, 100%. That's she's was. like, but you were a girl before. I was like, yeah. She's like, how'd you get your voice so deep? And I was like, I swallowed a lot of apples. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that to, makes sense. To make an Adam's apple? <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> and she be- but she was extremely drunk, though. Or was she blonde? No. That's a stupid stereotype. That's a very stupid stereotype. Actually, the br- blondes aren't dumb. They're fucking idiots. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm totally, you're blonde yourself. <laughs> and I'm pretty smart. So you're not pretty smart. You're a you're a you're a parents' wet dream. You're that every weird. you're every parents' wet dream. Like <laughs> when they're having sex and they're making a kid, they're like, I, I this kid better be like you. Like like in the future when I'm having kids, I like I'm so wait, you, I'm gonna be thinking you, of like your parents have wet dreams mid sex. <laughs> I think, like, you okay. You didn't formulate when, that, did you? <laughs> when, when a parent is having sex to reproduce, they wish they w- they want their kids to be like you, you know, because yeah. you're like balanced. You work out. You have a job. You have your own car. You're very responsible with your money. Sometimes, um, you do you do a, a lot of drugs, but like you control yourself. <laughs> I'm joking. You don't do drugs, but like you, you're super good in school. You like you have business ideas. Like you're very you're very balanced. Me, all I have is. I'm right. tall. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> I'm barely even tall. I'm like average height. <laughs> and yeah, that's it. I got, I got like, I can, See, I, I'm going to be a shit friend and just not compliment you right now. <laughs> tell me, what do you, what do you like about me? <laughs> no, I think, I think I have, uh, I've, I've charisma. That's what I was going to say, but I, I barely know what that word means. <laughs> what does it even mean? I thought... Charisma means like when you, you have beaucoup de charisme. I still, yeah, I still don't know. Tra- translate. That's what my mom does all the time. <laughs> just, <laughs> There's, I hear a word. Yeah, she does. Do that. I'm like, what does She's that like, mean? Yeah, what does translate that mean? Translate it in French. I'm like, dude, that doesn't like, help. Oh, that makes sense. That does, now. I'm gonna know that now. <laughs> no, but charisma is like when um, you're out there. You're, not, not you're out there, but like uh, like you shine, isn't you it, glow, isn't it like charming? you glow. It's not charming, but it's like it's like um, people want to talk to you and they like like you're very you, you glow like when they walk oh, when I, you walk in the room. Oh, you have, what? Charismatic. Or yeah, chari- charisma. Charismatic. That's that, so weird. Nah, I, I think, think that's only in French. French word. I think that's only in French. But you, you know, charisma. Like you, you walk into a room, the room lights up. That's charisma, I think. Or shrooms. Or I'm just making <laughs> or shrooms. Or I'm just making stuff up on the spot. But uh, yeah, but we didn't even talk about. Do you believe in ghosts? Like we, we just completely switched How topics. How we? You talked about a dick in your mouth, and then. Oh, the ghost guy. Yeah. No, but okay, do you man. believe in ghosts? So seriously. Oh my god! I just thought about what my mom told me. Hold up. <laughs> She's like, I told George to move out of your closet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, she told me, oh, watch what you said on this, these videos, and now we're talking about ghost cocks. What's the future employee employer be listening to this? He's like, we're our so own employers. You're saying that my ten year old girl sucks cock when she, she yawns. yawns. I'll be like, yeah, like, like dirty. Yeah, poor. dude, it's. What do you think she got acne around her mouth for? <laughs> Jesus, can you get acne from that seriously? <gasps> from ghost cocks? No, from sucking a dick. Like if you suck a dick, you, and you get acting on your mouth. I think like I've had experience with that. I've only had two dicks. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> totally I, mean, I haven't sucked me. enough to figure it out, but like it could be the cause, or it could oh be my, my steroids. God. But I don't know. No, but um, uh, you believe in ghosts so, though? For the fifth time. Yeah, for the fifth time. Uh, it's a yes or no question. It's very simple. Like nothing about sucking dick. Just straight up, do you believe in ghosts? I I'd say no, but like kinda. I, is it bad that I want to, but I don't? Yeah, no, like, I want there to be I zombies. want it. I, dude, that'd be sick. That'd be crazy cool. But just for, like, an hour. <laughs> no. For, for like, like, for, like, a week. No, for 10 years. For 10 years? Yeah, then, no but internet. then you start back at the beginning no. when there was no zombies. I'd wish there was a zombie apocalypse for, like, a week, maybe. And then I get... And nah. I wouldn't want to worry, like, all the time about me getting eaten. And then, or you... Yeah, that's why you have to build the nice... Or you, s- or you start... Yeah, because it's, it's that simple, Josh. Yeah. I want to... Yeah, it's super easy. You build a fort there and... <laughs> Yeah. No, oh, unless you're like in World War Z, then it's just... Oh, know. then there's no hope. If, if it's yeah, the World War like Z zombies, zombies, those are crazy. Be so easy. I don't think that would happen, though. Zombie apocalypse... Could, if it was the Walking Dead zombies, like, A, the army would take care of it, or B, we'd find a vaccine in two seconds. Like, come on. The zombies in, in The Walking Dead are so right stupid. I just don't tell you. 
No, I don't think there's a vaccine for cancer. That'd be too... Uh, a vaccine or like a... A, a cure. A cure. That's two different things. True, yeah, cure. Yeah, a cure. You think yeah. there's a cure for cancer? <laughs> Some of them that they don't actually... I don't think sell it to people because they make more money through the treatments. That's messed up. I feel like you, some countries would do that. That sounds like a plausible thing, but that's messed up. <laughs> like if yeah, that's actually yeah. true, well, I mean, that's Bush so did messed 9/11, up. Eleven, so I don't that's understand where up, that yeah. comes from. Well, you don't think he did? No, because the idea behind that conspiracy theory is Bush did nine eleven so he could declare war on Iran or uh, Iraq to steal uh, their fucking oil. oil. That's uh, that's that a conspiracy. Would... Theory. It makes sense, but like I don't think someone would be like, you know what, we're just gonna kill six thousand of our people, like. Really? I don't, I don't think that makes... No Congress would, would that's let why that... A, that's why it's the most genius plan. Because no one thinks about you, that? They probably made hundreds of billions off of that oil. Oil? To this day. Trillions. Yeah. Easy. For seven years, they were trying to fight him. And then the moment exactly. the moment Obama go, comes into chair, he gets him because they knew the, he was in Afghanistan. The worst part is during the war, they were using American weapons. <laughs> the the Saudis and all those, those people. Really? Yeah. Well, it's because before... That's that Clinton uh, bullshit. Al-Qaeda. Is it Al-Qaeda? Al-Qaeda, yeah. No, yeah, the Americans gave them guns so that they could fight off, I think it was like some other... Russia, probably. Yeah, I think, I think <laughs> probably Russia. Something like, I, I don't know. And then like, I they think were like five years own... later, they're fighting each other, but it's so both stupid. with American it's guns. so stupid. Oh, yeah, because I was during the Cold War. Yeah. When they decided to, to give... Yeah, that's messed up. I don't think Bush said 9-11. Okay, so you, you, let's stop getting off tracks. Do you, so you, you do believe in ghosts, or no? Don't know how we started talking about 9-11, but yeah, we, kind we of, keep, yeah. we have a tr- we have a problem. Okay, so you believe in ghosts? Because I, I know a lot of people that are like, yeah, I totally believe in ghosts. I, I don't get it. I've never seen a ghost in my life. No. I've never had a ghostly experience. I I just I don't get it. Like I want to see one just because I want to say like I saw a ghost. Like how cool of a story. No, I don't believe in ghosts, but I believe that some weird shit happens sometimes. <laughs> like in paranormal activities, kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like ghosts, no? Technically. I don't know. Because uh, ghosts is a weird topic, dude. Because like. It's just do you do you believe in like the devil in like a very bad spirit? Oh no, no, you don't you don't believe yeah. in like. But you, you don't believe no, exactly. When, when I was a, when I was a kid, no, because I, I was oh, born I was born Christian. Christian. Probably, like yeah. I used to, I went to church for like eight years straight every Sunday. Like I went to Sunday school, all that stuff. My and God. when I went to church, like I was like ten years old. Then I was like, oh, like I, I don't know. And then I um, I asked my mom, and I was like, uh, I was like, do you so believe? <laughs> I was like, do you believe in the devil and stuff? And then she's like, oh, when I asked the priest this before I asked him, I said, uh, my mom was like, I asked the priest this once, and I said, do you believe in the devil? And he, and he said, no, I believe in God. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's deep. So I was like, shit, okay. So like, I don't know, the, the like the whole bad spirit thing, like I don't believe in. I I, I don't know. It's just it. it, it, it there, why hasn't it been caught on cameras? Why has the what? Why hasn't like ghostly experience like been caught on cameras before? You know. There has, like I that. don't know if they're real or not. No, they're all fake. It's they're people all wearing fake. green suits. It's I people know. wearing green suits and just throwing shit around the room. Like, they there show how to make those. There has been some weird crap. Like I mean, some, I don't believe like, in Because, like, some that, horror movies are based off of true stories. That's what, like... Yeah, The Conjuring yeah. 2 was based on a true story. Yeah, but, like, But I think it's just... Happened? Dude, it's because of a, a psychopath is the killer. And he, like, makes... He's making... He's brainwashing these people to thinking that they're getting haunted. But it's just, like, a genius killer, pretty much. That's how... That's what I think it is. Not, but like, like the what, whole what the whole conjuring thing where like, like where like the cops were they confirmed this like a chair went flying across the room and stuff like this like it could be so easily like the guy like I don't know I think it's all a psychopath that that's uh, a genius psychopath that like an evil genius that decided to like plan this entire thing to brainwash them into thinking that there's a ghost because what's better of a of an alibi than killing people and and, and they didn't ghosts. get killed by anything you know how yeah. crazy is that? That's no, such a good alibi. Is, like, it's so easy to fool people that they're... Because you can't blame stuff. something on nothing. No, it's because, like, you if if you say, oh, this house is haunted, and something weird happens in the house, people are automatically going to connect those two things. Because, because they're dude, being ghosts. Because, listen, like, so houses... You can easily fool them. Houses, if we stay quiet, like, houses make a lot of noise through pipes and stuff like that. If we go to a house and we're like, oh, this house is haunted, and we're quiet, and we're get, we're obviously going to hear something. It doesn't mean yeah. it's haunted. If we start hearing footsteps and... Hello, <laughs> then maybe okay it's Jake Paul like it's Jake Paul <laughs> it's Jake Paul it's the it's whole team 10 no but then maybe like there's something going on but like if if we just hear like pipes or, or like noises then I'm like okay it's a house every house makes noises you know and it's true it's very simple no but it's cause people like w- w- the f- it's like if they believe the first thing that they're told 
it's going to be so hard to convince them otherwise, you know? Like, if you say, oh, this place is haunted or, oh, ghosts are true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then if something, they start hearing things. Yeah. yeah I, if, I, so, I, if something they'll start odd happens, it. Th- they'll go towards it being ghosts rather than explaining it to Reality. Yeah, no, I get that. I get that. Ooh, I have, I have a question I need to ask you to see if you're a psychopath. Oh, I am a psychopath. I don't know. I don't think you're a psychopath. That's but... not what my therapist says. <laughs> <laughs> You don't you don't have a therapist. <laughs> Some oh, crap. Just to start making stuff up. <laughs> John's not real. No, Josh. Josh isn't. Wait, John I'm is signing like my ex girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's a sociopath. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I'm joking. No, but um, actually, I'm not joking. But like, <laughs> I'm just gonna say I'm not joking. She's a fucking. She's crazy. <laughs> she's straight up. She'll come out of the TV like. <laughs> no, literally, she could star in like The Exorcist. <laughs> and like be the the devil, but it, there's no special effects. <laughs> like it's just her being herself, and people are gonna be like, "Oh shit, we gotta exorcise this ghost." No, but um, yeah. Okay, so I want to ask you a little question. So this girl's at like her grandmother's funeral, right? Yeah. And she meets this guy at the funeral, like a family friend or something. It's a question or st- it's a question. It's a question. Yeah. It's a question. It's a it's a it's a, it's a little riddle. Okay. And then she meets this okay, guy. Reset. Okay, the girl. Her, yeah. The girl's at like. Uh, What's her name? It doesn't matter. Nancy. Doesn't matter. Yeah. The name doesn't matter. The girl's at her grandmother's funeral. What's her grandma's name? Doesn't matter. <laughs> she says, Karen, oh, what was she wearing? How did she die? Doesn't matter. Trying to build it in my mind. It doesn't matter. The, a girl's at her grandmother's funeral. Is she and hot? Dude, shut <laughs> up. The grandma <laughs> or the girl? <laughs> the grandma or the girl? Both. Well, the grandma's dead, so I, I'd rather know about her. She's easier. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, listen. Um, yeah. A girl. Because a, a girl's at her listen, grandma's funeral. Listen, listen. A girl's at her grandma's funeral. And she meets this guy, right? Okay. Just at the funeral. She falls in love with him. She, he's like a family friend or something. Like, she falls in love with him, like, bad. Okay? And then she okay. kills her... Uh, a few days later, she kills her sister. Why? She kills her sister? Yeah. Why? Okay, so she meets a boy at her grandma's funeral. Yeah, falls in love with him. And falls Head in over love sales. with the boy. Yeah, and then a few days later, she kills her sister. Why? I'm guessing it's because the boyfriend tried to comfort the sister because the grandma died for both sisters. Okay, yeah, okay, you're not a, you're not a psychopath. Why? Because psychopaths usually answer, they say, um, because she wanted to see him again. How messed up is that? That gave me chill, like, it gives wow, me chill. Yeah, that's It gives creepy. me chill, that's fucked up. Yeah, but who Because she met, her at a, cause she met him at a few... That. Dude, David Dobrik. He, he answered he answered that like and it took him two seconds to think about it I, never, usually, I would never even see, think when, about that usually it's a test because usually non-psychopaths take their time to reflect on it like you did but psychopaths oh, will just say psychopaths it, it comes straight up they're like oh because she wanted to see him again how messed up is that it does make sense though yeah because it's a yeah. family friend obviously so if the grandmother died he'd probably come back for the sister so the girl kills her sister so he would so she can meet him again yeah, but I thought they How were, messed up is that? I thought they started dating. I would have probably no, answered no, no. that if it was a one-day Me, thing. my answer was, I don't know, maybe the guy had an affair with a sister or something like that. Yeah, like, I thought, I thought I, that too. Yeah, that's what everyone says. That's the normal well, answer. That's where I was going to. That's the normal answer, but, but then, like, no. Girl got Psychopaths say, like, it gives me chills. Like, that question gives me chills because she wanted to see him again. Yeah, it gave me chills because I, I never... You I, never thought about that because no. so you're not a psychopath, so I'm not well, scared. I am a psychopath. I'm not scared like, that you're going to smash that bottle against my head at any time now. Again. <laughs> again. <laughs> <laughs> On my head. No, but, like, that's uh, that's a crazy question, huh? I was, I've been wanting to ask you that. I like, love those questions. What the hell? Cra- that, 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 that question is, like, crazy. Now, there's, like, stupid tests online that you... But, like, the, their Psychology tests. tests are actually crazy accurate. Like to figure yeah. out like if you're extroverted, if you're narcissistic, or to th- to figure out if you're if you're a genius. There's this one riddle that um a guy's. Oh, I took a fake I th- I think I, IQ I think I told test, you. or not a fake IQ, like an online one. You know, I'm considered a I genius. A sh- yeah, me too. I'm considered a genius, <laughs> but I don't believe it though because it was like riddles. Like, I don't think I'm a genius to be honest, but I was considered a genius. I got an IQ of like I forget what it was, but it was in the genius section. Like I searched, I checked it out. Really? Yeah, it was above average. Well, the Mr. Johnny English, you know the the funny guy who does the uh, Mr. Bean. Yeah. Isn't he a genius? Yeah, he's cons- he has a he, well, he has like I think a, a PhD or two. Fuck. Yeah, and he's he plays a role of an idiot. Yeah, that's the funny part. No, but um, what was I gonna say? It's like the the, f- the but, smart guys play dumb, and there's this one riddle. The depressed play funny people, hey, like okay. uh, Robin Williams. I don't know. Rest the, in peace. Rest in peace. He was a good actor. Um, he played in my favorite movie, Goodwill Hunting. Oh, I love he that played movie. The, he played the therapist. 
It was great. It was my, one of my favorite movies. Anyways. It was actually one of my... Uh, this question, I think I asked you this before, but if you didn't, if I didn't, like, then, then just answer it how you would. This is to see... This is a question, like, that's usually, like, on, like, riddles to see if you think outside the box and if you think, like, when you answer quick, like, you're... It's considered, like, being a genius if you answer this question quickly. So there's a guy in a jail cell, right? Yeah. And all he has is a shovel and the like he, he's in like a the, the floor is like made out of dirt he's in a jail cell you know normal jail cell and he all he has is a shovel and then he has a little a little window that's 10 feet high but he can't reach it see. he's like uh, so five he foot can't six reach it. he can't yeah. reach it it's out of his reach how but the only way out is through that window he can't break it with it like the only way out is through that little window like there's no bars like it's an open window but he can't reach it all he has is a shovel how does he get up to it there's a shovel yeah but you, you said the floor is made out of dirt. Yeah, exactly. The floor is made out of dirt. He has so a he shovel. He makes a fucking pile. Exactly. Okay, yeah, good. Okay, you got it. Climbs Something. on it. Exactly. He's just... shovel and there's... You think it's you, a simple... You gave that away because you said there was a dirt floor. No, uh, so I, I, I think I said it wrong there, but like a lot of... No, but usually... That, that was like how the question was written down. Oh. Like It was something like that. But that's a, the premise. But a lot of people say like, Oh, I don't know. He uses the shovel as like a hanger or something. He tries to hook himself up. Like they say, like they they completely My forget God. about the dirt. I floor. I, I think a, another answer you just dig out. See, a lot of people say that too. A lot of people say that too. Or they try breaking the wall, the shovel, and stuff like that. But the real answer is you just make a pile of dirt. But for some reason, a lot of people don't answer that. But it's not the first. What kind of thought. window is it supposed to be? It's an open window. It's just a hole. Oh, it's an open window. It's, it's just a hole. Oh, there's okay, no, yeah. there's nothing blocking it. Because I was gonna say it's like a dumb idea if like there's like bars on the window. No, no like that's. <laughs> You make a pile of dirt. Yeah. But I think I said it wrong. I, I think I, yeah, but that, a lot of people don't answer that, which is weird. Like I did, I did a bunch of those quizzes that give you riddles and stuff, and I was like, dude, it's so. I s-. love riddles. Like there's one, there's another one I'm gonna talk to you about, and I'm gonna say I'm gonna talk to you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you. There's one that goes um. This is to see if you like you're you're a good not detective, but to see if you like you pick up on clues. So there's Some girls. No, you're horrible at that. Yeah, no, I'm horrible. <laughs> no, just to see if you pick up on clues normally, like just to see if you're like smart. Um. So there's this guy, there's this, there's this, you're a detective, right? See, but next time, ask me these questions, like, tell me the tale, and then tell me what it's supposed to find out about me. Because, like, the sociopath, maybe I'm a sociopath, and I... You're not a sociopath. You, I, really am. You're not a sociopath. <laughs> you might be a little bit of a psychopath, but you're definitely not a sociopath. Oh, wait, what was it? Sociopath is when you manipulate... Uh, psychopath. When so, no. sociopath is when you manipulate people, and you lie to them, and then, like, you know you're lying, but, like, you're kind of, like, start believing the lie, but you know you're lying... And yeah. you're just controlling everyone around you. That's a sociopath. Sure. But a psychopath is like when you're like, you're just, yeah, you're, like, you're, yeah, psycho. you're psycho. Like you just think like of other things that like people don't think about. Is that genetics or is that, are you? I, are you, I think it's not genetics. I feel like. No, it's not like, genetics. It's clearly it's, not genetics, but. No, no. Genetics are, is a big impact. Cause like if your dad was a. Like, I'm being a psychopath? Fa- no, like if your genes are messed up, like family wise. And like you won't be born a psychopath, but you'll be easily triggered into being one. Like if I, th- I think you're born small... a psychopath. It's like it's like all the serial killers, like H. H. Holmes and all those. Like their parents were fine; they weren't crazy. Yeah, no, but so, like somewhere down the line, or like I don't know. Oh, like, you're saying they, like they, way they, back when, yeah, like they made had yeah. they made had like a psychopath. Like in the family. If, if there's this is probably a gene that <laughs> passes down all yeah. the way. Th- oh, yeah. And there's it just has to get triggered. Maybe, like I let's say you're three years old and your mom gets like raped in front of you. Oh, tri- yeah. I mean, if my mom got raped in front of me, even I would go crazy and like beat the shit out of the guy. No, but we just start killing a bunch of people. No, exactly. <laughs> I wouldn't go on yeah. a killing spree. I, like, I do uh, like the Punisher. If you, if you get no, if you get beat up as a kid or something like that, that could be a trigger too. And like, yeah, maybe. No, but um, we'd have to do more research on that. But true. the question is, the question is like, you're a detective, right? Oh, true. Or yeah. there's a detective. Yeah, yeah. There's a detective, right? We'll and he he finds a dead body, right? And he thinks there's a gun and and there's a hole in his so, head, right? The guy the guy's dead with a, holding a gun and there's a um, there's a gunshot in the head, but there's a tape recorder right next to the body, so he decides to listen to the tape recorder. Okay. And wait, okay, so there's a dead body, there's a gun, there's a hole in the guy's head. Yeah. And there's a tape recorder. Is it still filming? No, no, like this is. Let me explain the tape recorder. Okay, yeah. So there's a tape recorder, and the guy decides to listen to the to the tape. Yeah. And it's it's silent, and then you you hear, you just hear a gunshot to the guy's head. And the detective, and then it just stops. All you hear is a gunshot, in the tape. And the guy thinks it's a murder and not a suicide. Why? Well, it's because the tape stopped. Exactly. Okay, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> That's it. Because how can, how can you kill yourself and not replay the tape or stop the tape? 
No, because I was going to say, because, like, cause, like, the reason I asked if the camera was still going is, like, maybe he could just, like, go to the last, like, right before he got into the house. And, like, no, because tape recorders, yeah. to, to play, you have to you have to reload the tape to the beginning. So that's how it's a murder, because the, the murderer replayed the tape when he put it to the beginning. So when you click play, it starts automatically. Oh, and okay. if you killed yourself, you can't stop the tape. Yeah, exactly. And you can't put it back. You can't even stop the tape, and for sure you can't put it back to the beginning. But a lot of people are like, oh, but I don't know, because maybe he heard footsteps in the tape and stuff like that. But That's see, true. okay, so you are, they, they seem like easy questions, but a lot of people get messed up with those questions. That's, I love questions like detectives. that. detectives. I think we'd be good detectives because yeah. we, we make so much stupid shit. But like, it, it'd be like. <laughs> no, but like, I feel like it's like, we'd well, be good. we think outside of the box, but I feel like it'd be a huge help. We'd think too much of like, outside the box. No, but like, we'd see like. like we'd, a, we'd be like a shark We'd see a murder and there's like a. Like this, I don't know, like a freaking toothpick, like inside of like a freaking a pig in a blanket, sure. like thing, the snack, you know, the little sausage wrapped in in dough. Amazing. Sure, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and we'll be like, oh my god, the guy's killing kids, or like we'll, we'll go on like crazy little clues. Think, think way outside much, the box. We think way and too then, much like, outside the box. Catch, like a crazy serial killer. Maybe, maybe. I think we would be good detectives, but on a certain level. Like, because no, I wouldn't, I dude, I wouldn't want to be a detective just because, like, I wouldn't want to find a case like where the the killer has like riddles and stuff, and then you have to solve and stuff. You wouldn't like that. that? I, I love it, that. It would it would play with my head too much. Like, I wouldn't be able to sleep. Like, it, it would play in my. No, as like, long, I wouldn't stop working until I figure out the riddle, and that would drive me nuts. No, that that's why I, I wouldn't no, do it. I like the thrill of that kind of thing. But like, it wouldn't be fair if like the the killer was a genius and you're not a geni- genius. What's my glass? Like, it has to be like. It's right here. This is your glass. Oh, so, wait, so you've been drinking out of it? No, I'm drinking out of this. Oh, okay. Continue. I don't know. It's real life, but like I like detective novels when it's like mind versus mind. Like yeah, a genius cool. killer versus a genius detective. No, Amazing. yeah, that's, that's, that's awesome. Because like sometimes the killer is like two steps ahead, and then sometimes the detective is two steps ahead. So I find makes like the big There's way. some killers that are just... But just... obviously in real life, that's messed up. Did like, you ever see him um, interviewing... Uh, it's on Netflix. It's like interview the mind of a serial killer or something like that. I... And he's interviewing serial I killers. It, but I never finished it. It's insane because the serial killer, like I forget which one it is, but he killed like twenty people. Like it's insane, and he seems Damn. like the calmest, nicest really? guy in the world. They're it's messed, messed up. Really? Like he's he's fat. He's out of shape. Like he doesn't look like a killer at all, and he's just talking so normally. It's so weird. How long has he been je- been in jail like for? Like twenty years. Oh, that's, yeah. And he's on death row and everything. And he doesn't really? care. He doesn't think he's in jail. Like it's. It's so it's messed, messed up, up, but he's so like it's so weird. It's like if you'd ask him, like, actually, "What do you eat at McDonald's?" He'd be like, "Oh, I like a double double, and sometimes with a side of fries, like cut, like with a soft voice." It's so creepy because really? you know it's he's like a- Hannibal Lecter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. The, the hey, TV like just calm. Is that the TV show Hannibal? Are you talking no, about? You're not talking like, about not, like not Hannibal. No, I'm talking about the the movie uh, Silence of the Lambs and like. Hannibal, oh, true, because because there's a TV show called Hannibal. Favorite book. Favorite. Well, I never seen that movie. Really, you have to watch that. Never seen. Funny. You know when I say. Hmm, I can smell your cunt. It's from there. Oh, really? Yeah, it's Clarice. It's so funny. Amazing movie and book what? and whatever. I hope, Definitely I hope the recommend actors it. are good in that movie. It's a, like a 1980s, 70s. Oh, yeah, so it's uh, It movie. was like during the like the gay rights movements and stuff. Like the whole movie is about that. Really? Yeah, like this, the, the, ma- the main killer um, wishes he was a... It's like a guy who wishes he was a girl. And like... He went for a sex change, but they refused him like three times. I've never seen and it. And then, like, he takes his anger out on women, especially Jesus. Like, fat women, it's because he cuts like they're fat, so that their skin is like super loose. And then, like, he shaves or he cuts off their like skin. Like he skins them. Yeah, he wants to make himself a woman suit. Jesus Christ! It's it's an amazing movie. And like oh Hannibal, God. he's in jail, and like he catches him from like he doesn't catch him from jail, jail but he he like helps the detective. It's really weird. Amazing, amazing it's, movie. It's messed up. Yeah, Crazy. it's messed up. Nah, but like serial killers, like oh me yeah, like chills. And uh, I watched this new show on Netflix. Um, it's called The Staircase. The Staircase. It's, you know, it's like actual recordings of like an actual case uh, file. Ooh, yeah, I, that it's, it's like, actually that amazing. Like it, would, it's funny because like it went on for I think twenty years. They well, like the case got reopened after ten years that the guy was in jail. Was oh, um, the staircase. No, but there, there's this thing like that. They did recently. They, they recently got, get back into open. Like the case recently got open. Yeah. It's about the guy that like killed a girl or something. Yeah, his wife. Or his girlfriend, no. His wife. Because there's a there's a podcast no, called Serial. 
that's no, all that. about yeah, that. Yeah, similar, but it's not a that, similar yeah. case. Yeah. So, okay, because there's this podcast like, called Serial. That's the same thing. Like the guy's really, been in jail for 15 but years. Is it actual like? It got reopened like last no, week. Is like, it actual video recordings? No, it's tape. Like it's it's recordings. Uh, voice. Like yeah, it's no, a podcast. That's what, that's what I meant. This oh, one's podcast. video recording. Yeah. Well, and like they the, might have made it into a TV show. That's what I'm saying. The like, weird the, part is like because I'm I'm actually not sure if the guy killed the girl, but like I, I love things like that. Yeah, but it's like it's like American Vandal. Did you ever watch American Vandal? It's like the yeah. same kind of thing, but about like drawing dicks on cars. <laughs> like the same thing. Maybe he did do it. Maybe he didn't. Shout out to Jimmy Tatro because he's, he's the lead actor in that show. And God, he's a YouTuber. He started off on no, YouTube. Like he got a lot of Jimmy Tatro. Like, it's not actors, so we can't get the closure no, that's of crazy. the killer being like, yeah, I, I killed her. Like, it's weird. Oh, like, we can't see it. And it's weird. But like, not going to lie. Like, I definitely think he killed her. Because like, so? yeah, no, it's the thing is like. I need some more of that. He was, Vegas water. They, they, they were, they're really rich. Okay. And uh, he was apparently barbecuing outside, the man. Okay. And uh, his wife fell down the stairs and, like, died. Oh, but, they, they like, said that he pushed her or some shit? No, but the thing is, like, at first they were like, okay, like, she just died and, like, broke her neck mm-hmm, down the stairs. Yeah. A freak accident. Yeah. yeah, but, like, it was, like, I think, like, 15 or 20 stairs max. And, like, the girl's head was, like, beaten in. And, like, oh, okay. still, like so her this, head was, like, yeah. exploded. There was blood everywhere on the so stairs. So they think that he might have... Yeah, but then like I don't know. That's that's what got me to think that he killed her. Is there videos of that? I think yeah. They showed oh, like the body. The, they showed ugh, the body at one point. I think it's a little nasty. I just but, like, I don't know why my voice went so high. Right? Is there a video of it? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that's insane. But it went on for like at first they brought him to jail, but then they they I don't know why they reopened it. I'm, I'm not there yet. But like I don't know. It's messed up. They like, probably reopened it because there wasn't enough evidence against them. No, there was no evidence. That's exactly, that's, that's why they reopened it. Because there's a lot of people back in the 90s but and like, 80s that they... were just get, yeah. got sent in jail with barely any evidence, yeah. which is messed up. That's like the whole serial podcast is about that. There mm-hmm. wasn't enough evidence, so they decided to reopen the case. Yeah. And it's crazy because you actually like have no idea if the guy did it or not. Like it's a, But the weird part big... is because the, they had kids. Yeah. And during the whole Netflix series, like the kids are with the dad and they love the dad and like they're defending him. But then he goes to jail for killing their mom. So they're like confused too. They're like, Gosh, oh, I bet. How old were the kids uh, when he went to jail? They were 19, I think, or 18. Okay, so they were still mature and old enough to understand. Okay. Yeah, but like imagine, like, because they, they, they thought he didn't actually kill her. But then once, because there were, I think the jury was like 20 people or 10. I don't know how big it is. It's like 12. It's a and dozen. everyone thought he was guilty at the end, like after like a year of trial. And That's so, like, so crazy. they probably got convinced, too, at the same time, which is sad. Well, yeah, because if, if you think a jury, if a whole jury votes against you and a yeah. judge, I'd be like, yep, <laughs> dad, you're an asshole. <laughs> Legit, yeah. Nah, it's messed up, though. That's crazy. That's insane. Because, like, oh, my God, I almost oh, dropped the, all the Red Bull on the thing. God, oh, it's still full? It's, no, it's, oh, it's empty, empty. It's empty. Yeah, we're not going to fall asleep for but, a good amount of time. It, well, I, I've, been up, I've been up for a while. I worked t- this morning, so I'm a, I'm a little True. sleepy. True. Let's go get more Red Bulls. Let's <laughs> take, take a shot of pre-workout. You know? Yeah, let's go. Be up, let's dope. go work out. I'm actually down to go work out on abs. Right now? Yeah, we'll go to the park it's after. almost midnight. Do that crazy app workout that's going to be uploaded this Saturday. This Saturday? So you, mean, fu- you mean Thursday? I want to see the... You haven't shown me the clips where I'm chasing ducks around. <laughs> actually, I could probably show you that. <laughs> so funny. No, but um, what was I going to say? I had a topic idea. Oh, yeah, watching Glorious Bastards for the first time. Is that the, the war movie? Yeah, with, like, Brad Pitt. Oh, wait, is that the one where they go to steal art back from the Nazis? Or the, that's what? A completely that's, like, movie? that's Indiana Jones, Raiders of the Lost Ark. No, that's, no. <laughs> there, there's, oh, I can't. They steal art from the Nazis. That's Indiana Jones. I f- no, I'm pretty sure it's not. Is it in Glorious Bastards? That's, dude, it's, well, okay, I'm well, telling you right now, Glorious it's, Bastards it's not in Glorious Bastards. Okay. In Glorious Bastards, it's about like the, 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 these, this group of like Nazi killers, right? And they're called the, the, the Bastards. And they... Oh, yeah, yeah, that movie's amazing. And then they blow up like a movie so theater yeah. at the end. And it's... Everyone dies. But they blow up a movie? <laughs> they oh, blow the girl, up a movie yeah, theater. The she's, girl yeah, blows she's up the Nazi movie theater. Lover, and then she, Nazi she's lover. low-key Jewish because they yeah, killed her family. Yeah, she is Jewish. Yeah, they killed her family. Okay, so yeah, you know what Yeah, it's a great movie. And she pretends that like she's all... It's a true story. True story. No, it's not. They killed Hitler in that movie. Not a true story. It's not a true story at all. No, I thought the movie theater part was a true story. 
that might have been, but they didn't kill as many high end commanders that they did. Because no, in that movie, they killed like Hitler. They killed I, the the I Hitler's feel like it was right an man. Attempt. It might have been an attempt, but like they killed like in that movie, they literally killed like all the high commands, and they like they ended the war doing this. So stupid if it wasn't, but it's I, obviously I, not a true story. No, but I feel like there might have been an event did. that looked like that. But yeah. in in the movie, they killed like all the high commands that ended World War Two, and obviously that didn't happen. But well, that movie is insane. It's so good. Yeah, like I was, so, good. I was, I was a little surprised. Old I, movies are amazing. No, old movies, like it's not that old. No, but like no, like in the last ten years or five years, even movies have changed way too much. You like, think they're bad now? Blu-ray? No, it's just like Blu-ray. No, the quality legit, yeah. got better, but the the, the storyline didn't. No, I feel like they're running out of stories. Not, That's not why, that the I've stories never... back then were rich, but like they actually like they meant something. I haven't seen the like, new. It, you can analyze any eighties or nineties movie, and they're talking about either like gay like rights, Goodwill Hunting Black, is amazing. Uh, Black uh, rights. Breakfast Club. Yeah, Free greatest, Speech. One of the like, greatest like, movies. They're all talking in the world. about important topics, and nowadays it's like. Uh, the Avengers. <laughs> yeah. Not it. That's just comic books. I've never, I never. I didn't see it. Time. That that story was written like. I've never. I've never ago. seen the Avengers. I don't think I will. Like I'm not a big fan really? of. I'm not a big fan of superhero movies. Mm-hmm. I, I like the originals, like the original Thor, amazing. Really? The original Captain America, the, they've amazing. They made the most money though. Doesn't, money doesn't that. mean anything. Yeah, no, but like they're fuck, freaking popular. Like, Obviously, they're, they're, they're popular. They're amazing they're, movies. They're, they're huge budgeted movies. Yeah, Obviously, they're gonna be popular. They're Marvel. The graphics, holy cow! Crazy, good? yeah. It's good. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, it's it's 2018 now. That's true. Well, I mean, that movie was that movie was probably recorded in like 2016, but. Crazy part though, I probably took like three years to make that movie. The <laughs> FIFA Cup or Ooh. the World Cup, twenty twenty six is gonna be in Montreal soon. Mexico said they they don't host any games. They don't want to. They don't want to host any games. That's what I read. That might have been like fake. So gonna get, I read that Mexico we're doesn't want to host 13 games. Thirteen here and thirteen in the U.S. I guess so. That's gonna be amazing. Um, they so. not no. They might go to the South Americas. I thought it was only North America though. If they go to South America, it ruins the whole point. Because, no, they've already done no, South close. America. Yeah, yeah, they've already true. done Brazil. They've already done all that shit. Yeah, true, 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 true. Never We've never had one. It might be here. That'd be crazy. Yeah, but I don't think there'd be the a lot of is, spectators. Like, imagine where we're at in 26. We probably won't even live in Canada in the year 2026. We'd probably be on, like, an island in, in the, South the Bahamas Americas. or something. That'd be crazy. Or, like, St. Thomas, Mexico or something like that. Yeah, nah, I, I'd want to live Tortola or something. 30 at least in... Uh, in, in Canada. You want to stay in Canada until you're, you're, until you're 30? Like, I used to want to li- live somewhere else, but Dude, I feel like everywhere else I don't like, is fucking up. I don't like the weather, though, now. Like, I used to no, love like, the weather no, in I'd Canada, now I hate it. I've during the summer and somewhere mm-hmm. else during the winter. Because it gets really hot. Like, it's insane how hot it gets in Canada. Yeah, it doesn't get hot. It gets humid. Cause it, it gets like, hot as hell, too. Yeah. Nothing compared to Mexico. Though. Mexico I, the hottest place I've been has to be Mexico. Yeah. You, you, you're in the airplane and you walk out and it's like... Because you're not used to that kind of weather. Well, like mean, we're not used to that kind of weather. A bunch of places just... in Europe and no, like... no, not in Europe. No, we've been to Europe and I was it wasn't. To go to Morocco. That must have been hot. No, like no but like Africa. Mexico, easy. Because we, I've been to Europe, Australia, New Zealand, like all those places, and by far Mexico is the hottest. Like it's at least forty degrees Celsius there. It's really? insane. I walk out, and it's like phew, just hotness Jesus. automatically. Doesn't that it's feel good? Crazy. To a certain point, like when I you're out like in you the sun and then at the beach in Mexico, I'd be exhausted. Yeah, you get exhausted. Time. Yeah, you get like it, it drains your energy, but it's just mm. it's so hot. And then you sweat, and it's just it's insane. Like it's, good for your skin. it's mad hot. Like I think Canada today is extremely hot, but it's like nothing yeah. compared to Mexico. Mexico. Like when we were kids, you should like, go to. I'll bring you to Mexico, or you'll bring me because you'll probably have the money before I do. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're going on a trip. Uh, so we are going on a trip. Go to a beach. We're trying this Ontario. new uh, strain of mushrooms called Gualuguli. No, it's called Gualabidu. No, Guali, uh, Gualaguili. No, Gu- Guala. And it's like, apparently it makes you like trip balls and makes you see like a bunch of colors and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm excited for that kind of mushrooms. That's going to be cool. Uh, yeah, now now I, it sounds like we're now I, I'm, I'm completely like, joking. I, see, yeah, I, I thought it's so it's, serious right there. Every we time I say trip, we don't, you, we, th- you think we, about drugs. we don't, yeah, because that's like my... Okay, we're going to go on a vacay. On a vacation? And I'm totally to joking. La, we, to don't, we don't do drugs and we barely drink. But um, no, we're not, like, actually I don't drink. No, we don't, cause no, with all the the stuff and supplements we're taking for the gym, like true steroids and alcohol is not good. No, <laughs> shut up. Totally joking. We're not on drugs. That's because we take like creatine and stuff like that, and already that's like really hard on your liver. But well, I've been I mean, drinking. I've been drinking you, a lot yeah, of water though. No, if you drink a lot of water, it's fine. But like if you're taking alcohol, which is also can very you hard turn on, on your liver, AC? No, we're in the veranda. There's no AC. Oh, okay, well. Well, we will. It's because it's, it's so minutes. hot in here, dude. Holy shit, you're sweating right now. Like your nose is sweating, and I'm pretty sure I'm sweating too. 
That's what's up. Am I starting too? We're in Mexico. For, yeah, dude, this feels like Mexico. No, but uh, yeah, we're going on. A, we're going on Ontario. Where are we going? Uh, Saga Beach. I'm totally joking. No, some somewhere in Ontario. Somewhere in Ontario. Just DM us if you want to. No, let's, let's go to the. Um... Actually, we're gonna. Why am I saying this? The the podcast is gonna upload while we're there. Probably. Or let's go to the 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 I don't know how to say that in English. The Laurentians. Is that how you say it in English? No... It's up north. Oh wait, it's no, lakes. It's where, where all the lakes up. are. If we go to Ontario, we can't drink. Now that we're gonna drink. Oh crap! Yeah, shoot. It's nine. No, we'll just, no, we'll just buy beer here, or buy alcohol here, and then bring it in the car there. That is true. But if we get arrested, well, though, we get arrested, and then they're like, "Oh, this is illegal for you guys." But in Quebec, since it's eighteen, and there it's nineteen to drink, which is messed up. Yeah, well, we're like, I mean, oh, we're, we're not tourists. drinking. We're gonna have like a beer on the beach. That's it. Well, you're gonna have a beer because I'm one hundred percent sober. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, no, because um, yeah, it's nineteen over there. Quebec is eighteen. I didn't even think about that. I didn't know. I I, I found that out like recently. I thought I was like. Same. I thought it's all of Canada was eighteen. No, I found that out when we were in Old Port and those kids started attacking us. No, that I I knew before that there, but because like I no, if, but like, if you search up on the internet, Canada drinking age it says eighteen. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Probably, I th- I'm, yeah. I'm like ninety percent sure, which is why I was like, okay, so it's eighteen all over Canada, but it's only like two, I think it's only here in like New Brunswick or something that it's eighteen. No. Yeah, and then everywhere really? everywhere else is nineteen, and we're in Quebec. We're the only ones who have CJAP. Everyone that's else, amazing. everyone else has middle school and I don't, I don't even or know how that system works. <laughs> well, it's because we don't have it. Like yeah. I'm pretty sure they they think the same about us. That is true. Yeah. They're all five years of high school. What the hell? What the like, damn hell? S- shit like that. And then they're like, oh my god, they have. Technically, they save a year though before university. Yeah. Because they have two years of middle school and then four years of high school. Yeah, we, but we skip one year eight. of university. So technically, it's the same goddamn yeah, thing. Yeah, true. No, it's they just, get no, they get a new un- university when they're eighteen. We get a university when we're, when we're nineteen. Yeah, but we skip one year. Do we? Yeah. You sure? Yeah, hundred percent. You you sure? I don't, I don't. I'm not sure about that. No, I am sure. You skip a year of university, so yes. instead of if to become a doctor, instead of it taking eight years, it takes seven, seven. years. Yeah. You sure? Hundred percent. You're hundred percent sure. Yeah, it's because. Dude, like what they're learning? That, that's his. The, I don't know. If that's no, true. Dude, <laughs> I don't know. If that's. Like, I don't know. That's. I'm, I don't know. I'm that. applying next semester. No, but isn't it four years of university, like minimum though? Like, not minimum, but like most programs, it's like four years, right, of university? Yeah, but here it's three. You are you sure? Yes. Yes. I, I don't know about that. It's because ba- their our first year of CJEP is their last year of high school. We learn the same exact crap, same exact things. It's yeah, just but ours are more focused. Okay, but what, what, what happens if? That's why if you go to school in Ontario or somewhere else, you might have to do like uh, an extra year, chemistry, uh, biology, or some crap. Like I that. did biology in Sec Five. Not the same. No, no, you didn't. Yeah, I did. You did. I did. I had biology when you had your chemistry and stuff, and said I had biology. That so does true. that count as like biology? Uh, I don't know if in it's Ontario. The same. No, it's uh, it's probably not it's the same grade, course. Grade twelve or grade thirteen or whatever they have. Uh, so it was biology. grade eleven biology. I don't know. It's just uh-huh. why are we talking about school? It's summer. Yeah, it's yeah, it's school. summer. It's school. School. I'm going back to school, dude. Fuck. I haven't been to school in like four months. And you're studying history, so it's not even school. Hey, shut <laughs> up, dude. I know. I chose a program that I'd actually because I switched programs. Like I was in, I was in entrepreneurship business, and now I switched. Which I'm, I don't, I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> can't go back now. I can't. I can't go back, but I don't know how I feel about it. Really? Yeah, that's a huge switch. From business, no, because sure. I know I'm still gonna like I'm not gonna do shit if I with my history degree. I'm still gonna go into business no matter what. But I don't want to have the business classes, you know, because I, I didn't. I don't know why the program itself. I didn't like it at all. I don't like my program that much, but like I know it's gonna get me somewhere. Yeah, nah, but like, because nah, you don't need a degree. Let's be honest. 2018. Do you nah, really you do you need no, a degree you need to be a successful? Degree to work at McDonald's, but like if you want to be you really don't successful, need a degree you to don't. work at McDonald's. <laughs> I was making a. I'm making an exaggeration. Oh, okay, I thought you. Were, I was like, "What?" <laughs> no, like, no, it's because like you need a freaking master's to work at a bank nowadays. Like, it's crazy. Because yeah, I don't think you need no. Because there's a lot of ways to like be successful. Like my parents, well, maybe not my dad, but like my parents made it without even having a freaking C job degree. No, what really? Well, no, the one who my f- parent who makes the most cash. Di- well, she has like one semester left of her back, not even. Okay, so she does have a C job degree then. Oh yeah, yeah, I mean, like she doesn't university have a university degree. Yeah. No, my my both well, my parents. She's English. Both my parents have. Yeah. My mom has but a university makes, degree. Like, crazy, crazy money. Cash. Yeah, because no, yeah, you don't you don't need a degree to make money, no, back, especially if no. you have your own business. But, but it helps. She when doesn't you want. have her own business. She just made her worked her way up. 
Okay, true. No, but like I'm saying that like she's a people person. A so degree like, helps when you want to get loans from the banks and stuff like that. Because a degree is better than nothing. Yeah. But do you really That's need why, a if degree? We ever do business thing. I'll, I'll let I'll you do yeah. the loans because you you're because you're for sure getting your degree, right? Mm-hmm. Even if like a business pops up and you get like, and, like no, I I because I want to get it into. Like I want to start businesses, but I want to start off like I want experience first. Like I want to become like an investment banker or something for a short amount of time. Okay, make, theoretically, like, theoretically. No, but like make a lot of cash quick. Okay, but theoretically, like capitalist or something like that. Next year, right? Yeah. You're still in C job next year. Yeah. And you're 19, right? House I of Bros. 19. Theoretically. Yeah. Right. House of Bros. Blows up. You're making five hundred thousand dollars a year only on House of Bros. and another and another two hundred thousand dollars with with the the clothing line. So you're making a total of seven hundred thousand dollars a year, which is an amazing salary, better than the average lawyer, whatever. And you're 19. And you're you th- you think you're still gonna go to university and get your degree, even though you're making seven hundred thousand dollars a year. Yeah. Really? No, like. Because like you, I, if you I, make do, millions... I have to admit, there's a difference between intelligence and education there's a huge difference yeah yeah i know but like i i still want to be like because like I, i've been working hard in school for the last like oh do you think it's gonna be for nothing years? you yeah. think it's gonna be for nothing yeah and, like my parents are paying good money now for a good school and like you sound yeah. like such a such a preppy boy right there my parents are paying no, but, like, no, no but, like, <laughs> like you it, have student loans it, no i have rich parents <laughs> <laughs> no like it was hard for my mom to pay for it and like i, I wouldn't do that to her just like not get a degree no, like, okay. Yeah, I'm not doing that. it for her. I'm doing it for me. Because like, you feel like you wasted your I, time. I'd be, man. I'd be crazy proud to get my. Because if I'm still in school, like I'll frame it, I'll post it on everywhere. You're gonna get a, an MBA, a master's in business. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna get a that's PhD. PhD. No, that's a PhD. <laughs> <laughs> it's a PhD. But that's so useless though to go that far. You don't need that at all. No, I, I wouldn't go straight. But a master's. Eventually, I want to get a master's. Why? Just so you can say that you have a master's. No, because I want in university. I want to go to uh, either McGill or Waterloo. I'm gonna go into. I went to Waterloo. Uh, Sorry. I'm sorry. gonna do a dual degree in a uh, ba- well bachelor of uh, uh, my administration, Why, like dude? a BA, plus uh, a deck in uh, computer science. Why? <laughs> you're just gonna be. You're gonna be in school until you're 33. It's a, Fuck. It's a three year program. Yeah, but you can't do that at the same time as the other uh, degree. Yeah, it's, so you, it's so a dual you... degree all at the same time. Okay, so you're pretty much going to have no time for, like, It's the same, it takes the same amount of time as a normal degree. That makes no sense. You're going to take do the two degrees, but you're doing the same amount of schooling? Mm-hmm. That makes no sense. I think you read something wrong. There's no. no way you can do two degrees and have the same amount of time if you're doing the degree separately. Oh, you're probably having that makes zero extra sense. class. So you're saying that you're going to get a, a computer science degree and a, and a fucking business degree, but you're doing them combined and it's going to take the same amount of times if you're doing them separately? That makes no sense. No, no, but like, you're gonna be in school for at least two more years no, if you're doing that. No, no, no. I like I read it to it. They say like, cause I, I thought the same thing. I'm like, oh, it's probably gonna. I think it's an extra. Or year. you have a shit ton of extra classes, yeah, and you're always gonna be in, in school. No, no. It's just you go through the material a lot quicker, and I think you have an extra year. That's it. You for sure have an extra year. Cause probably. A, for sure, yeah. you have a, a ten extra classes. Yeah. Cause that I'm makes not, no sense sure then. Cause like, I, I could learn computer science on the side. It's just something I want to know. Why? Just, I don't really like it. <laughs> it's useless. I mean, well, not not for, it's not, not useless, useless, but it's useless all. for you because you want to get into business. Not you don't want to be an employee in, in a computer. Yeah, but I want to be able to create something. House of Bros. Yeah, no, but like it's a creation. Because dude, I don't well, even that, know. I, I don't even know if I want to complete my CJP. Really? I'm not a. I'm not programmed to be a student. I have to start. I'm not. Uh, I need to fucking that's cause I learned, get an agent. I need to move to LA, go in a million auditions. Because I feel like school gives me motivation it. to try. I don't know why. Dude, yeah, you because know, you're a good student. I'm not at all. I no, just I'm not. Dude, I've never even studied or because done my homework. plan right now is to just focus on YouTube. Someone eventually start like getting big, getting noticed, and just get an agent or get a manager, and then start going to a shit ton of auditions, and then make it as or like do start doing stand up like stuff like that that's my goal then why don't you go into like acting theater. school <laughs> that's yeah. what i was thinking of. i should probably have done that instead of going to history <laughs> <laughs> no but like do theater school in quebec really we have amazing theater schools really dude yeah. no but what is, what is dude a I'm lot gonna of be movies co- are filmed in montreal 
dude, Quebec, to do stand-up shows it's in Quebec, in... it needs to be 50-50 English and French. That's such bullshit. Like, it's so stupid. There's so many stupid Quebec we're ta- laws. We're not talking about stand-ups. We're talking about theater school. Yeah, but if I go in theater school and I do auditions, it's probably going to be for, like, French movies and stuff and movies in Quebec, you know, at first. Like, it's super... Once I'm in Quebec, it's super hard to get out of Quebec. No, That's what I'm saying. Can, I have to... Can, I, I want to move somewhere, like, to... I want to move to Toronto. Be easy there. Why? It's English. That's, <laughs> That's it? You just want to move to Toronto because it's love, English? No, Montreal's my favorite place in the world. Really? Okay, Better than Monaco that we went to. Better okay, than maybe. Monte Carlo. We went to Monte the, Carlo. No, like, and you're saying that Montreal is better than Monte Carlo. Okay, maybe. You're really... Better than Tuscany. Better than <laughs> Pisa. Gone. Actually, no, I went to Pisa. I went to, you didn't go to, uh, you went didn't to Tuscany. Go to Tuscany. I, I, you went to Tuscany, <laughs> I went to Pisa. Or better than Venice. Or the French Rivieras. Yeah, now you're just showing off. <laughs> or Barcelona. <laughs> These are all places we've been to. And you're going to say that Montreal is better than all those places. Better than Montenegro. Okay, I was saying I like Montreal. <laughs> That's, okay, guys, this is very... We're oh getting to the God. end of the podcast. It's the last 10, so, 20 seconds. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Or the podcast. It's not really a video. But hope you guys enjoyed the, the, the pod... I was just going to say video again. God, I can't speak. Josh, sign us off. How long is the intro? Go, hurry up, hurry up. Say it, say it, say it. Like, right now, you have five five right, seconds. So, um... <clears throat> oh, crud. Okay, live life how you want to live no, it, because no, no, we, we don't have time. We don't have time. We literally, we literally don't have time. Okay, well, hurry up. We don't have time. Okay, uh, no, ma- no, no matter what your dreams are, or what your goals are, or what your parents' goals are for you, whatever, always think about yourself first. Build who you are as a person, and things will come to you. Bam. You heard it here first. Peace out, guys.